My name is Anella Lauren. I'm a harpist here on the island of Kauai. I'm recording an album of Grateful Dead music on the Celtic harp called Harpin' on the Dead. I'm really excited about this project. It's going along beautifully, uh, but I do need your help. This is my Indiegogo fundraiser campaign. Uh, the recording studio, World Class Studio, has agreed to let me pay them later after this uh, campaign is over. Uh, after it's finished being recorded, it's going to go get mixed and mastered, sent off to disc makers for CDs and United Record Pressing to make vinyl albums, and then I'll be able to get it out to you folks. I've assembled an amazing cast of musicians, uh, Tom Sanfilippo from Half Step, the grouping, uh, Long Island, Steve Inglis, who I pulled out of retirement. He's now playing flat key guitar music here in Hawaii. And, uh, but he used to uh, play in a Grateful Dead cover band called Paloma Jones in Honolulu, and I used to dance my butt off every weekend watching them. So it's uh, really been a thrill for me to make this album. Um, all right. Hi, Will. And this is our recording engineer, Will Lidgate. He is amazing and funny. <laughs> Will in action, acting normal. <laughs> Yo, I'm ready like Freddy eating spaghetti. Eyes of the world. Yeah. Say what? <laughs> I mean, the dead live stuff was always what moved me. So what I'm really happy about is I feel like we got the energy of a live dead set. Right. But we got really good studio sound also. So right. the sound quality to me is better than right. you know, a Betty board or something like that. <laughs> sound uh, it can sound like Baroque-ish, Baroque-esque right. at times, and I like that old sound of music. Right. I like, didn't have like a great grasp of like just the depth of the music to right, start with. Right. So yeah, I mean, coming coming into this, I, I like now have like a whole new perspective. Right. Heads dirty, use cleaning cassette. What does that mean? <laughs> oh. My very first Grateful Dead show was in 86 at the uh, Philadelphia Spectrum. The very first note that they sang, everybody in the entire arena started singing along. There were 10,000 people singing the same song. And it was so powerful, it was uh, really addictive. <laughs> Just have a different uh, flavor to the songs. I see the thing with the band at home is uh, you know we try to stay real faithful to the sound of the dead. Right. So to come here and just strum an acoustic and just make the songs a little more free to be their own entity. Uh huh. In the moment. Uh -huh. Kind of refreshing. Yeah. He wasn't thinking more like I'm a lead guitar player. He was like you know, just the catalyst for this perfect sound. I think that he hated the fact that he was so recognized, you know? Yeah. It makes you feel a little sweet he now. was very modest. Yeah. Yeah, humble kind of guy. Kind of like you. <laughs> Try to be humble. <laughs> you do a good That's job. That's what I learned from Jeremy. Yeah. 
There you go. There you go. You know, living here as a, like an 18 year old in, in Hawaii, you don't have too much resources to see the dead. So right. I was working in restaurants and I saved money and then go take a take a oh, four wow. day three show West Coast trip. Oh wow! Go to shoreline for a few days, come back home. And That's go, dedication. Go up to Eugene and yeah, you know, leave jobs and start a new job when I got back because they wouldn't give me the time to go see the dead. But yeah, yeah. but Garcia, his, his, he's one of those guitar voices that are just music. One of the I think one of the most beautiful musical minds. Yeah, I put him up there with John Coltrane and and uh, you know of course very different schools and. Mm -hmm. There's a Bob Dylan quote that beautifully sums up what Garcia did, talking about a vast swath of American music, and hmm. he said, Jerry beautifully filled all those spaces without being a member of one particular school, hmm. and he really did. He was, yeah. he really soaked up all of his roots, and he, and he just let them beautifully shine through, through his music, and that's what my favorite artists do, They're, they understand their, they have deep, uh, they have a deep reservoir of roots that they've listened to, and, and all these kinds of music that they've been rabid fans of, they soak it up and it just comes out. To me, the music and the poetry of the songs are really worth remembering on the harp. Uh, just the beauty of the words of Robert Hunter's poetry uh, and the, um, the details of Jerry Garcia's intonations. The, um, the Grateful Dead's joy of living, just their whole um, approach to life of really just freedom and doing your own thing and not feeling constrained. I commissioned William Gies, an incredible artist who did the cover of Dedicated and some other major projects in that genre, um, to do the cover art for this album and it's a beautiful Skull and Roses Harpist. And uh, it's so beautiful that I decided to, in addition to making CDs, to make LP. I found these uh, beautiful uh, blue and white tie-dye t-shirts and that'll go on the front. I'll also be making posters and G-clays, fine art prints on canvas. And uh, you can have them rolled up or if you are uh, a lover of uh, Hawaiian koa wood, I happen to be very close with an expert a Hawaiian koa woodworker, and he makes beautiful handcrafted frames. You can have one for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please pass this link along to everyone in your email list, especially people who are interested in the music of the Grateful Dead or harp music. And I do thank you very much for your support. Aloha. God rest your soul. Well, I grabbed that gold and I left his dinner.